Hi everyone, this is Dr. Anime Shah. I am a consultant clinical oncologist and today we will be discussing about cervical cancer. According to National Cancer Institute definition, uh, cervical cancer is a cancer that forms in the tissues of cervix. This is a part of uh, uterus which connect the uterus with the vagina. According to Globocon data 2020, it is the second most common cancer in women after breast cancer. In 2020, there are about 1.24 lakh new cases of uh, cervical cancer in India, uh, which comprises of about 18% of all cancers. And there are about 77,000 deaths from cervical cancer, which comprises of about 9% of all cancer deaths in women. Worldwide, it is the fourth most common cancer. In 2020, there are about 6 lakh new cases of cervical cancer worldwide, which accounts for about 7% of all cancer in women. And there are about 3.4 lakh uh, deaths from cervical cancer, which accounts for about 8% of cancer death in women. The commonest risk factor for developing a cervical cancer is a HPV infection or human papilloma virus infection. Although most women uh, will have HPV infection at some part of, the, of their life, it is a persistent of infection which can cause a cervical cancer. And the most common type of HPV virus is uh, 16 and 18, which are causative agent of cervical cancer. Some of the other risk factors for cervical cancer uh, which represent the exposure to HPV uh, virus are uh, early age of sexual activity, uh, early age of first childbirth, multi uh, parity, multiple sexual partners, partners who have multiple sexual partners, uh, cigarette smoking, uh, low socioeconomic status and immunosuppression like HIV or AIDS. Most patients of cervical cancer presents with abnormal uh, bleeding. It might be a postmenopausal bleeding or postcoital bleeding or intermenstrual bleeding. Some patient pre presents with abnormal vaginal discharge and some patient presents with uh, pelvic pain. Based on the tumor size extent, uh, spread of the cancer to nearby lymph nodes and distant organ, cervical cancer can be divided into four stages, stage 1 to 4. Whenever a patient with cervical cancer or suspected cervical cancer presents to us, we uh, take a detailed history of the patient, we clinically examine the patient, we advise for some routine blood test and most patients will need a gynecological examination sometimes examination under anesthesia to get a biopsy and after that once the cancer is confirmed we ask for an MRI pelvis to see the local extent of the cancer and also a CT scan of the chest abdomen and pelvis to see any distant spread of the cancer. PET CT scan can be done in selected cases of cervical cancer. Treatment of cervical cancer depends on many factors that include patient's age, patient's uh, general fitness, medical comorbidities of the patient, stage of the patient, and patient's wish. So coming to the uh, treatment of stage 1 and early stage 2b cancer, this group of patients are usually treated with surgery, although patients who wish not to have surgery or uh, patient unfit for surgery, uh, then a patient can be treated with radiotherapy with or without chemotherapy. Now coming to the treatment of stage 2 to stage 4a cancer. So this group of patients along with some large uh, stage 1 patient are treated with uh, radiotherapy along with chemotherapy together. Radiotherapy is initially given externally uh, over a period of 5 weeks and then Internal radiation, also called brachytherapy, is used. 
when external radiation is contemplated uh, intensity modulated radiotherapy which is also known uh, by the name of vmat or rapidarc are now commonly used these techniques has been shown to uh, precisely target the cancer and uh, reduce the dose of surrounding normal organ like bladder or rectum or bowel or hip bone and thus reduces the side effect from the radiotherapy coming to the treatment of stage 4 cervical cancer this group of patient are usually incurable and they are primarily treated with palliative chemotherapy with targeted therapy and some patient might need radiotherapy in the form of uh, external beam radiotherapy to control symptoms like pain or bleeding uh, stage 1 to 4 uh, cervical cancer can be cured with available treatment the expected 5 year survival for stage 1 cervical cancer is around 80 to 100% for stage 2 it is 60 to 80% for stage 3 it is 30 to 50% and for stage 4a it is 10 to 20% stage 4b cervical cancer are usually incurable the primary aim of treatment at this stage is to try to control the cancer try to control the symptoms from the cancer and try to improve the quality and quantity of life for the patients thank you for watching